All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Johnny's Very Magical Stew, episode two. I'm aiming to have a lot of episodes of Johnny's Very Magical Stew because stews are amazing. But this video is not about stews, it's about Crash Bandicoot. As you may know, I've made a lot of references from PT, uh, from the PT video about Crash Bandicoot and Insane Trilogy to my newest video, which is Collector's Edition. Which, I know I made too much references, but it's my favorite video game franchise, and I will stand for that, and you will not say, But Spyro's way better! I never, I played Spyro 1. I don't like the game, because it's open world. I played to Insanity, it's open world. Shush, 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 I, I can hear you. My ears are humongous. I can hear you. This video is going to be really short, because I don't want to have to edit for another 5 hours. I do enjoy editing, but I don't want to make it too long. And I'm already making it long by talking about me not making it so long. Okay, let's get into the point. Story time of Crash Bandicoot. Crash Bandicoot is the main character, and there's a bunch of other characters like Tana, Coco Bandicoot, but that's in the second one. No, that's in the third one for the original series, and then Insane, you can, in the Insane edition, you can play as Coco whenever you please. So, thank you, Activision. So, basically, what happens is. You get mutated. You crash Bandicoot. You get mutated into. You were supposed to basically be like Crunch Bandicoot, but that's in Wrath of Cortex, and I don't feel like talking about Wrath of Cortex right now because it's just a game that I don't like, so I'm just gonna skip it right now. I'm probably gonna make a video about it in the future. Just. You can hear me very loud and clear. Can you please stop yelling at me? You get mutated, and your sole purpose was to be a leader of the animal army and you were supposed to be the leader but then you escaped and then your girlfriend tana uh, tana bandicoot she got captured and then you just have to save her from neocortex and embryo and then all the other animals that were mutated and were supposed to do their job as to be an animal army they are the bosses of the game obviously big brain humongous brain humongadungan that's a word. I, I know that's a word. Humongadungan brain. You uh, all you do is uh, I don't remember. There there are three islands, and the original version of Crash Bandicoot I hate with a passion. I will write a three hundred page novel on why I don't like Crash Bandicoot One original nineteen ninety six PS One. Dude, I used okay. I don't know if okay. I don't like using the D pad so. I was like, if I buy a PS1, then it won't be good. So I just used an emulator to play all the three ones and all the three. And Warped is my favorite from all the three original. Because the controls are a little, you know, a little bit, a little bit wonky, a little, a little, a little drunk, you know, like a little drunk maybe. I don't, I don't know. What is, what is, what is, what is, what is this? What is this? <laughs> This this original Crash Bandicoot uh, one, Crash one if you prefer to call it that way, Crash one original origins or here's Assassin's Creed Origins because I don't know where it is I don't know if the camera's gonna see me or not probably is. yeah here's here's Assassin's Creed Origins but get that out of the way <sighs> that's the entire story but the gameplay can can you leave you know here's the door. Leave, please. Gameplay. I don't know how to move items in a frame, but leave. Shoot. And the whole gameplay is you. It's like a platform. It's a. It's a. It's. It was supposed. Okay. It's a two D platformer in a three D environment. Everybody went insane. <laughs> Everybody went insane. <laughs> and we're already insane for it, so it's pretty cool. Uh, what happens? is you start with Insanity Islands, the easiest level, then you progress from the cool environment of your your home into the uh, depths of hell in uh, in Cortex's levels where you have to not his levels, that's the bonus levels, I'll get into that later. So you, you so you start from very cheery environments to I don't wanna play this game anymore because I can't make this God damn it Charlie god damn it this jump I cannot I cannot make this jump. I cannot. All right, let's continue. And I'm not gonna go in depth into it. 
but you need to know is start from cheery environment and then go to not very cheery environment and you have to fight bosses along the way which the first boss is Papu Papu which is also known as Upa Upa Papu Papu is a really easy boss I beat him in uh, I beat him without finally beat him I beat him with taking one damage because this is not the insane version I beat him it was very easy it's the first boss you just need to jump on his head like ba boing and you're done three times and then Ripper Rube starts becoming this crackhead and decides to jump around like I don't know what's happening anymore he starts jumping around like he's a kangaroo which is Roo, so kangaroo yeah he's probably kangaroo he's like I don't know but he just jumps around you need to jump on TNT and there's like a waterfall there's TNT then you need to blow up so he blows up and then you finish the boss battle and it took me it took me 20 tries. Ah, it took me 20 tries to beat Ripper Root original. It didn't. It took me five tries to beat it on Insane Edition, but that doesn't matter. For right now, at least. And then you fight. Who else do you fight? Oh yeah, you fight Koala Kong, which is this sick, sick dude. Sick Koala, like Koala Kong, get a King Kong, Koala Kong, uh, same thing. Then you fight Pinstripe Puturu on the third island. Then you fight Embryo. And Pinstripe is basically a drum gun. He takes a drum gun and starts shooting you. You're supposed to hide. And then attack him when he's reloading. And then when his gun gets jammed. And that's all you do. And then the Embryo one is basically... Um, slimes. You have to jump on him to, so the slime gets back at him. And then he becomes Hulk mode. Hulk mode engaged. And you have to jump on his head a couple times, then done. That's it. And then uh, Cortex is shooting uh, a bunch of different lasers at you. And then the green ones you can spin back at him. And then you have to spin the green lights at him three times. So they become a humongous green light ball thing. And then you, they it explodes and then finish the game. You save Tana. Yeah, that's not really it though. What I have an issue with is the Insane didn't, the Insane Trilogy didn't do this. I played the Insane Trilogy before I played the original, so don't question it. The original, you have to beat every level without dying once. Without dying once. Even, dude, I, okay. In the Insane Trilogy, you can't die on color gem levels, but that's the only exception. You can die as many times as you want on the clear gems. But the first Crash Bandicoot was like, screw it, let's just make everybody suffer and cry because I can't get past Insanity Island. I mean, Insanity Beach. Yeah. I was stuck on it for five tries. It took me, my first, I beat it on first try. I don't know why it took me that long. But any, anyway, that's all you need to do is you need to collect the gems. And let's say you win as a secret ending. You go into the secret hall, jump on the clear gems, and then save Tana without having to fight Cortex. That's the entire story. We cover the gameplay. Now we go into Insane Edition. Insane Edition is the definitive way to play Crash 1 because it's not... <laughs> the depth perception is still there, but at least it's better than this garbage, okay? It's at least better than this non nonsense. At least it's way better than me having to <laughs> restart Lost City after I missed the last joke, god damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I had to repeat Lost City. I still haven't got the gem for it. I'm pretty sad. Dude, the Insane Edition does a very, very good job at making depth perception an actual possible thing without having you guessing. I mean, journalists say, oh my god, it's a Dark Souls, but come on. I speedrun this. I speedrun Insane Edition. Come on, how hard can it be, my people? So you just, uh, the depth procession is way better on this, except they decided to add time trials. <laughs> oh, vicarious vision. Oh my god, Activision and everybody that worked on this game. What's the point? Dude, I, okay. I don't have a problem with them until we get to the unholy, unholy level called God damn it, Gerard. Okay, that's, um. Uh, I don't know I said Gerard. I watch a lot of completionists. Never mind. That's not the point here. Uh, the lab. Oh, God. The lab. Dude, it's so bad. It's like it's like a little stick in me tone. Oh, my God. It's so weird. Dude, the lab is such an annoying time trial to get. You have to... 
you have to defy reality and jump over things like you're like you're spider-man on crack that's how hard it is okay that's how hard the lab is for me to get at least some people get plat first try on lab i don't understand them they're like i don't know really good i don't have a problem with the time trials except for the last few levels like um heavy machinery is fine at all but then cortex right in other words i was uh generator room yeah generator room is very annoying in terms of getting a gold I had to work for the gold so hard that I almost, I almost died. It took me 20 tries. <sighs> All the problems I have with Crash 1, 1996 edition, is the, the death perception, gem levels, because you, you can't die, and then the keys, that's all I have problems with. And saying, uh, perfect job. But this is this is not an ending series. We're not gonna end it from here. This is the end of the video. The only reason is is because I want to edit this video because I missed my upload and it's not like I have to I have to be forced to make videos. I actually like making them. I don't want to make it long, so I don't want to take any of your time. But but this is not the end. I'm going to be covering Crash Two, Three, Wrath of Cortec, uh, Twin Sanity, and then a bunch of other kart racers. So stay tuned for that. That's a lot of videos, but I'll see them. I'll see what I can do. All right. Still have no intro. Roll the text. Goodbye, everybody. Hope you have a lovely. No, I can't say a, a lovely Bandicoot month because it already ended. You know what? Anyway, have a uh, fantastic Bandicoot month. Goodbye.